Hi, I'm Dr. Jeff Rudy with Dental Compare. At this point in dentistry, it's undoubtable that CAD CAM technology has changed the face of restorative dentistry. But a lot of people are worried still about adopting it. Worried it's going to cost too much, it'll be too intimidating to learn. But we're going to talk to four people who have found that not only has it been easy to use, but it's changed the face of their practice. Well, I've been using CAD CAM for about uh, seven years now and we transitioned into this new system a year ago in September 08. CAD CAM I've been working shy of a year and, um, and we haven't looked back ever since we started working with CAD CAM. Had the E4D system for about 13 months now and uh, have it in, uh, integrated in my office about July 1st of 2008. I've been a lab technician for about 35 years, so it took me a little time to uh, open up to this new technology, uh, but within the last year and a half, I've uh, basically become a new man in the, in the dental world. Right when we went to the training session, we actually had one week of training, and then right when it got delivered, we were using CAD CAM within a week. We went to a training in Dallas at that E4D University and they told us that in two days we were going to be scanning and they were right, we were scanning. And they also have a great backup group that is called SOS and if you're scanning uh, as a beginning, you start scanning and you get in trouble, you can call them on the phone and they'll be right there on your computers, like if they're next to you. The learning curve for stain and glaze was a little bit in the beginning, a little bit tough because we knew how great our lab was. But as my girls got training, I mean, when we're working with one of the best, you know, or at least the best lab ceramist in the world, Lee Culp, and he's teaching us his secrets in training courses, it's allowing us to really produce beautiful restorations. It's just like everything else. You have to spend a little time. You have to have the... Uh, 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 motivation and uh, it's challenging but it's uh, when you do it and you do it again and again it becomes just routine. It has been a positive ROI since the first month. It's basically cut my lab bill in half so honestly it's the first piece of dental equipment that's in my office that's actually paid for itself and is making me money. Uh, not to mention that it's bringing in new patients, not to mention it's increasing my staff morale all good things. I have a partner and both of us use the machine. The first month we probably did about 30 units on the machine and we've been doing about 30 to 40 units every month. So we paid for our machine within six months. Well basically we're using Ivaclar's new product Emacs on most of our restorations and I just came back from Miami from uh, Catapalooza and Gordon Christensen and Ed McLaren both stated that the Emax crown, the uh, monolithic lithium disilicate crown is probably going to be the restoration of the future. So that was nice to hear. We know how great zirconia is, but really it's just the coping that's strong. And so with the lithium disilicate crown, we have the confidence knowing that that is going to be an unbelievable restoration for a long, long period of time. Well, it all depends on how much time that you spend with it. Um, we have a porcelain oven, so we stain and glaze, and I actually add porcelain if I need to. Aesthetically, it's, uh, it's, it's great. It's absolutely great. You could, you could put colors in it, you could put your stains in it, just like regular ceramics. So uh, uh, I have, I'm, I'm all for it. I work for a prosthodontist in Monterey, and we do quality work, so the aesthetics and the marginal fit is it's a plus, it's a priority. So we research the machine and it has to be, the quality and, and the aesthetics, they have to be there. 